2013 Subaru Impreza, getting ready to recover. Lines are all vacuumed out, already have it on for the suction only. Got to be careful because you are right up to the compressor where there's a reservoir of oil. And if you recover too fast, even on the suction line, you'll see oil come across and uh, you can pull some oil out. So you got to throttle it down a little bit. Tested the refrigerant and our refrigerant is good. 2.4% uh, air, not the most horrible thing. It'll live. And turn that on, turn that on, have that open. And close, open, closed. Well, it's not engaged yet. That's not turned in yet. And let's get this out of here, turn it off, yes. And you always want your refrigerant analyzer and you always want to test. Uh, I'd like to see guys who have a vacuum extraction for a refrigerant, uh, for coolant, for your coolant system, for your radiator, and uh, vacuum filling to make sure there's no air bubbles in it and they don't have that problem with overheating like so many shops do, you know. 50 years ago, these were around, mostly used in Europe, and they were used in some shops in the United States, and most guys didn't even know about this. 20 years ago, still a lot of shops didn't know about this. I've turned on, especially body shops, because they're the least educated in our industry, I've turned on so many shops to the vacuum purging, and when done correctly, they don't have problems with overheating cars or cars coming back on tow trucks. Only problem is, if there's nobody to train the technicians, and if the owner of the shop hires technicians who well we'll just say are not quite ready to be in the industry yet and there's nobody to guide them or train them you can give them the best tool but if they don't know how to use it or its principles and don't know how to test that it's even functioning correctly or the after results are correct it doesn't matter if you have the tools if the people responsible for training and guiding and mentoring new young technicians are not available in the shop and um, just one of those things, you know, you, you just can't, unfortunately, it's not a requirement that is mandated that the person owns the shop actually knows what they're doing. And uh, they really re rely on uh, some of them, have you seen in some of my shops, let's say not the best, but this is a good shop. And uh, they do everything really nice here. So, and I know when this goes back on and he puts this back together, he'll have the foam back on, foam back on here, the little foam pieces here. I see so many shops leave all these foam strips off. And um, in San Francisco Bay Area, the customer will never know it. You go to Death Valley or Arizona or Utah in the summer, you'll definitely know it. All right, guys, I'll see ya. I gotta finish, it's already empty. Yep, we're getting down there. All right, see you guys.